Greetings, Multi Retro Man here. Now, are you using MAME with a front end? Or do you use MAME from the MAME.exe file like I do? If you do, you might be um, having frustrations when you load the new version up and you have to set all the settings again, like your, uh, your folders, your controls and everything else. Well, this video is here to show you how it's easy to actually copy the information from the previous one and use it with the new one so you don't have a lot less messing about setting it up enjoy the video guys so here you are with your latest version of MAME extracted into a folder and as you can see here the latest one is 0.241 and there's a MAME.exe file so what you do is you run it so, so when you first try and run or search for Mr. Do and press run. With this new version, it's missing an uh, actual file. So the first thing to do is to obtain the new ROMs. Now I'm not going to say where you get them from, but if you do a search on the internet, you may be able to find them. So what you do is copy them into the relevant directory. And I've created one here just specifically for updated ROMs and copy them in there. So obviously when you've installed the new version, it loses everything from the settings from the last one. So what you do here, you, I've created these files here default.cfg well it automatically creates that in main but what i do is i copy that into a different directory so what you then do is copy and then paste it into this particular directory there and then actually if you want to overwrite it so you say yes so you're copying the new files there and then when you start main go to configuration and then just go to the option at the bottom save configuration so it says configuration saved next is the part where you need to set the directories and what I've done here, you can see in here, this, these are the files that you need to copy and paste into the mame.cfg file, which is what you just created there, the mame configuration file. So what you do is copy the, well, I, I open them both here, which makes it easier. You've got the one that's all the, the text that you needed. So then you open up the mame.cfg file, actually, the new mame directory, and highlight it all, the text that you need there, like cop, so press Control and C to copy it. Then you go into the relevant thing there, highlight the uh, the lines which are needed, and then press Control and V, and then that will paste the information on there like that. So then obviously what you do is save that, go into the file, and then save, or you press Control and S, and then when you rerun the game, the one you or that you want in, or any game for that matter, or whichever ones you've got installed, load it back up, and when you try like this one, Mr. Do. The next thing you want to do is make it look like a, an old arcade machine. So you go into settings. I mean, I enable triple buffering, but there, HL, HLSL enables the option that makes it look like the proper arcade machine with graphics. So then you go save configuration. And then when you start the game as normal, it should load up no problem at all. And there you go. And that's all you need to do.